increase in the emergency medicine channel. Today we will be discussing about the drug dopamine. So dopamine, as you see, it commonly comes as uh, ampules. So the dopamine ampules be five ml ampules, and each ml contains forty milligram of dopamine. So total of two hundred milligram will be there in each ampule of dopamine. It is also an amber color ampule. Coming to the mechanism of action, dopamine is an endogenous catecholamine. And it is a metabolic precursor of the norepinephrine and epinephrine, and it acts on dopamine, alpha, and beta receptors. The action of dopamine is dose dependent. At intermediate doses, or five to ten microgram per kg per minute doses, dopamine increases the renal blood flow, heart rate, cardiac contractility, and cardiac output. At high doses, that is more than 10 microgram per kg per minute, the alpha adrenergic effects on dopamine of dopamine dominates and it leads to vasoconstriction and increased blood pressure. At low doses, that is 1 to 5 microgram per kg per minute, dopamine is no, no longer recommended for renal protection due to the lack of patient uh, outcome evidence. Dopamine increases the cardiac output, blood pressure, and the peripheral perfusion. It is indicated for reversing hemodynamically significant hypotension caused by myocardial infarction, trauma, heart failure, and renal failure when fluid resuscitation is unsuccessful or inappropriate. It is an ideal drug in hypotension with bradycardia. It is used as a second-line inotrope after noradrenaline in the management of septic shock. Dopamine is also used as an infusion in symptomatic bradycardia that is not responding to atropine. Here we will be using a dosage of 5 to 20 microgram per kg per minute. So coming to the drug dilution and setting up an infusion of dopamine. Each ampule has 5 ml. Each ml contains 40 mg. So one ampule contains 200 mg. So the 5 ml is diluted with 45 ml of NS, forming a 50 ml solution that has 200 mg of dopamine. So each ml of the solution has 4 mg of dopamine. That is the dilution of the infusion is 4 mg per ml. So In a uh, 50 kg individual, the standard infusion at 5 microgram per kg per minute, it will be equal to 5 into 50 into 60 microgram per hour infusion. That is 15,000 microgram or 15 milligram per hour infusion. The solution is 4 milligram per ml. So to start at 15 milligram per hour, we'll have to start with this 3.75 ml per hour infusion or approximately 4 ml per hour infusion. So that To start dopamine infusion at the rate of 5 microgram per kg per minute, with a dilution of one ampule of dopamine uh, with for uh, to a 50 ml uh, solution, we'll have to start it at 4 ml per hour. So that was regarding the dilution. Now coming to the adverse effects. Dopamine will cause chest pain. At low doses, it will cause hypotension. At higher doses, it will cause hypertension. It will cause ectopic beats, palpitations, nausea, vomiting, headache. It can cause tissue ischemia. So that on prolonged usage of dopamine, there is chance of peripheral gangrene and also uh, gangrene of uh, other uh, organs like mesenteric ischemia and all are prone to happen. And it can also cause tachycardia and other arrhythmias. So this was regarding the drug dopamine. I hope all of you have got an idea regarding the uh, use of dopamine, the dilution of dopamine, its dose-dependent actions, its complications. Thank you.